I claim that the product of k consecutive integers is always divisible by k factorial. Let's dive into a proof. In fact, I'm just going to look at the case where k is 4, um, but it's very easy to just generalize this method to all values of k. OK, how do we prove that the product of four consecutive integers is always divisible by four factorial? Well, what we're going to do is take our four integers and let's just say n is the biggest. So let n, n minus 1, n minus 2 and n minus 3. Now we can assume that n is positive and at least 4. So I'm going to assume n is positive and at least 4. Why can I do that? Well, if n is uh, positive but less than 4, so if n is 1, 2, 3, or in fact if n is 0 as well, then the product of these four integers would be 0. If n is 2, for example, n minus 2 would be 0, the product is 0, and that's definitely divisible by 24. And um, what if n is neither of those, and so n is negative? Well, then if n is negative, all four of these numbers are negative, but then they'd have a corresponding positive counterpart. So, for example, if this was minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5, well, when I multiply them together, that's the same as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. So that would just be the same as the case where n is 5. Cool. So we can assume n is at least 4. And what we're going to do is simply consider n choose 4. n choose 4 we know is an integer. So this thing here is definitely an integer or we are non-negative integer. Okay, n choose 4. Well, what is it? Well, it's n factorial divided by 4 factorial times n minus 4 factorial. OK, cool. Maybe you can see where this is going. Let's write n factorial as n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4, and so on, all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. And that's all divided by k factorial times n minus 4 factorial, which is n minus 4 times n minus 5 times blah, 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 times 3 times 2 times 1. And you can see that guy cancels very, very nicely, that guy. And we're just left with n times n minus 1. Oh, I don't even need to put the really dot, dot, dot there. n minus 2, n minus 3, all divided by k factorial. Oh, sorry, k is 4 here. Don't know why I've written k there. Um, so therefore, we have the n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 divided by 4 factorial is n choose 4. Or in other words, n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 is n choose 4 times 4 factorial. Now this here is the product of my four consecutive integers. This is 4 factorial, and n choose 4 we know is an integer, hence this thing is a multiple of 4 factorial. And that gives our proof for the case k is 4, and you can basically rinse and repeat this, replacing all the 4s in this with k's, and you get the case where k is any arbitrary positive integer.